Now, if I'm going to continue my, my curve the other way, and this is going to continue to go down. So I go down here to three. I'm back at the midline. I'm back up three. And then I'm back to my... So if I were to extend my second curve, it's going to look something like that. And that would be two full periods for the curve. Oh. I want you to go ahead and I want you on your own to go ahead and find the, for this second example, find the amplitude, find the reflection, period, interval, phase shift, and vertical shift. So go ahead and find those things right now on your own and then we'll come back together here in just a minute and check to see how you're doing with that okay let's go ahead and go through these um how about the amplitude can somebody tell us what you got for the amplitude avery okay so our amplitude is four is there a reflection no reflection because the a value is positive our period. Go ahead. I'm just going to be pi. So we're going to do 2 pi divided by 2. So our period is just simply pi. Our interval. Madeline. It's pi fourths. So we're going to take pi and divide it by 4. Do we have a phase shift? Remember on that, we're going to take 2x minus pi and set it equal to 0. So our phase shift is going to be what? Pi halves? Everybody agree with that? Do we have a vertical shift? Okay, so no vertical shift. So that would be finding all the parts. Now let's just real quickly, and again, I know tonight you're not going to be focusing on the graphing, but let's just real briefly um, fill in what we know. First of all, we know that it's shifted to the right pi halves. Okay, we also know that our... Um, our interval is pi fourths, our period's pi. So if I put my pi out here, be pi fourths, pi halves, three pi fourths. We know that our shift is pi halves, so I'm going to just sketch in a dotted line at pi halves because that's where I'm starting. And we also know that amplitude is 4. So at my starting point, remember for the cosine curve, cosine curve on our original curve is a U-shaped. So remember, we're starting at our maximum value. So on this one, we're going to start at 4. So I'm starting up here at 4 on my dotted line. And again, it's going to be a U-shape from there. So from that point, it's going to go down. And I'm going to go down uh, four more down to here. You know, I could, I could add another line here. This would become five pi fourths. Six pi fourths, which is three pi halves. Oh, 
So here would be here would be one. That would be one period. And then again, I could go the other direction, negative pi fourths, negative pi halves, which that would get me enough there. I go down and then back back up here. So this would give me two full periods there for my cosine curve.